everybody, welcome back to Rise of Yoga Online. Today we're going to do a short vinyasa yoga sequence. So all you're going to need is some comfy clothes, a mat or some space, make sure you've got water and maybe a towel. Hopefully we'll get nice and warm today, we'll see how we go. Um, and of course, remembering before we start to be mindful of your own body and where you're at today. Everything I say is optional. Listen to yourself, you know what is best. Um, so we're going to start off by coming to a comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. And then bringing hands to the tops of the knees, sitting up nice and tall, and closing down your eyes. Starting to settle in. You start to let go of your day so far. Letting go of any plans for after our class. And just bringing your awareness to the present moment so we can focus on our practice today. From here, we'll start to bring your awareness to your breath. Focusing on taking deep inhales all the way down into your tummy. And long exhales, completely emptying your lungs. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. Taking this opportunity to use the full capacity of your lungs. And then from here, we'll start to relax down through the muscles of your face. Relaxing through forehead, eyebrows, behind the eyes and your jaw. So your face is completely relaxed. From here, we'll take a deep inhale together. And as you exhale, sighing out of your mouth. And again, inhale. Exhale, release. Once more, inhale. Exhale, sigh. And your next inhale, starting to gently flutter your eyes open. Okay. From here, we're going to swivel around, swing your legs back so you're sitting on your heels. And we're going to bring your forehead down to the mat, hands coming down beside you, coming to your child's pose. Balasana. Remembering that you're welcome to come back to this pose at any point throughout the class for any reason at all. And your next inhale, start to come up to sitting. Take a big breath. From here, we're going to come to all fours. Tuck and inhale and tuck your toes under. And as you exhale, starting to lift the knees and hips up. Coming to your first downward dog, we're going to ease your way into this. Find some movement, pedal through your feet. Sway through your hips, shoulders. And then whenever you're ready, coming to a moment of stillness, so pressing your heels down towards the mat, pressing chest back towards your thighs, and feel free to bend your knees as much as you need here. Alrighty, from here we're going to start to practice your chaturanga, so starting to warm up straight away. So we're going to go through a couple of different variations that you can do. The first one, we inhale, we're going to bring the weight forward to a high plank, so bringing shoulders over the top of your wrists. Now you can just come to this and let this be your chaturanga if you like, coming to plank as you inhale and exhale pressing back to down dog. Option number two, we inhale come forwards, exhale we lower the knees down and lower halfway through your body. 
Inhale, push straight back up. And exhale, lifting up knees and hips. Nice. Let's go again like that, coming forwards. Lower the knees down, lower halfway. Tummy in. Push straight back up. And pressing back. Nice work. Once more like this. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lowering down. Keep elbows as close to your body as you can. Inhale, push up. And exhale, press back. Beautiful. Well done. Take a couple of breaths here. We're going to add on to it, adding your cobra in. So this time we inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, lower knees. Start to lower your chest down towards the floor. Lower all the way down. And then as you inhale, we're going to lift the chest up. Squeeze shoulder blades back towards each other and squeeze belly button in towards your spine. So cobra is a snake. No limbs, so tail together. And we're not using your hands to hold yourself up. You could lift your hands up if you wanted and you'd stay like this. So we're not pushing all the way up. We're using your back to hold you here. Okay. And on your next exhale, tap the toes. Lift the hips, bend the knees. Down dog. Nice. Two more like this. Here we go. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower knees, lower down. Inhale, squeezing up, engage your back. Exhale, down dog. Last one. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down dog. Nice work. Alrighty, from here we're going to start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Bending your knees so your chest comes down onto your thighs. And we're going to let your head and neck hang down in a forward fold. And on your next inhale, starting to slowly roll up to standing. One vertebra at a time, all the way up to standing. Nice work. Alrighty, from here, we're going to turn around so you have lots of room behind you You're at the front end of your mat. Um, we're going to come to some sun salutations to continue to flow through and warm up. So, setting up in your Tadasana to start. Big toes together, heels are slightly apart. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can bring feet a little bit further apart, whatever works. Drawing up your kneecaps to activate your quads and we have a little micro bend in the backs of the knees to activate your hamstrings. From here we're going to bring shoulders up, back and down, sending energy all the way through your fingertips and then just lightly tucking your chin in and down to elongate through the back of your neck. Alrighty, nice. Coming to your classical Surya Namaskar to start. So take an inhale together and exhale. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, folding forwards. Reach forwards to fold down, touching your toes. Bend your knees, relax your head. Inhale, come to a flat back position. So hands can come to thighs, shins or fingertips touching the mat. Looking for that nice flat back, halfway lifted up. Exhale, plant your palms down, stepping the right foot back, lower right knee down. Inhale, we lift up, pressing forwards with the back hip, open through the chest. Exhale, plant your palms. Inhale, tuck the toes under, lift the back knee, step your left foot back, high plank. And just like we practiced, exhale, lower knees, lower chest. Inhale, lower all the way, lift up to your cobra. Exhale, send it back to down dog. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, step the right foot up to in between your hands. Help it up if you need to. Exhale, lower left knee. Inhale, lifting up, pressing forwards with the left hip, open through the chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, step the left foot up to meet the right flat back position. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, relax your head. Inhale, reach forwards to come up, arms come up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Left side, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot back, lower left knee. Inhale, coming up, towards the left hip. 
exhale coming down. Inhale, step back to your high plank. Exhale, we lower the knees, lower it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, step the left foot up to in between your hands, help it up with your knees. Exhale, lower right knee. Inhale, come up towards the right hip. Exhale, down. Inhale, step the right foot up to meet the left flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching forwards to come up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Nice work. Continuing with your swing of scar A. So take an inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms. We're going to step, hop, or jump your feet straight back to your high plank. And step back. And on the same exhale, we lower through chaturanga. If you're familiar with keeping the knees lifted, you're welcome to do that. And then inhale, pressure up to cobra or up dog. And exhale, send it back to downward dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees up to the top of the mat. Inhale, step up or jump to your flat back position. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching forward to come up. Exhale, hands to heart and one more like this. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold and forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump. Lower straight down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. Look up. Inhale, step or jump. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment here, come back to your breath. Let's breathe really get a drink if you need. So we've done classical swimming on scar. We've done swimming on scar A. Now moving on to swimming on scar B. Slightly different again. Reset up if you need to. Take an inhale together. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms under, bend your knees, sink the hips back, left this to be much here. Exhale, we fall forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, step or jump back, high plank, and lower straight down. Knees up or knees down, either one, whatever works. Inhale, lift cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, we bring the right leg up behind you to your three-legged dog. Exhale, we swing it up to in between your hands. Help it up if you need. You can lower the back knee if you like. Otherwise, find your balance. And then inhale, lifting up. High lunge. Exhale, plant your palms back down. Inhale, step your right foot back to your high plank. Exhale, we lower down. Chaturanga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, swing it up. Either lower the back knee or keeping it lifted. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, look up. Inhale, step up or jump. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms forward, bend your knees, sink your hips back, chair. And exhale, hands to heart center, come into standing. Nice work, one breath here. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warm. Let's go through again like that. Here we go, inhale, arms come up. Sweep the hands under, sink hips back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back. Lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, swing it up. Inhale, lift, high lunge. Exhale, bring hands down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down dog. 
Inhale, left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, swing it up. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, look up. Inhale, step or jump. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms under, sink hips back, chair. Exhale, hands to heart center. Whew. Nice work. Take a moment, come back to your breath. Feel free to get a drink if you need. We're going to go once more, we'll add a little bit onto it. Take an inhale together. Exhale, arms down by your sides. Inhale, sweep the arms on the chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, slip or jump back. Lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Down dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, swing it up to in between your hands. Find your balance. And then inhale, arms come up. Take an inhale, lift up out of your waist. Exhale, press down through the back heel. Nice. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we're turning out your back foot until your heel comes down to the mat. Turn it out, hips turn to face the side, arms opening up to your warrior two. Keep pressing back with the front knee. Take an inhale here, exhale. Inhale, flip the front hand, lift it up towards the ceiling, coming to your reverse warrior. Exhale here, inhale, lift. Exhale, bringing the right or front elbow down onto your front knee. Back hand is going to sweep forward, around, and up, coming to your side, angle pose. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, windmill hands down to either side of your front foot. Inhale, step back to your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, whenever you're in downward dog, left leg comes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, swing it up in between your hands. Find your balance, and then inhale, arms come up. Exhale. Inhale, lift up out of the waist. Exhale, press down through the back heel. Inhale, lift. Exhale, turning out that back foot until the heel comes down, opening out the body to your warrior two. Nice deep bend in the front knee. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, exalted warrior. Flip the front hand, lift it up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we're coming to the extended angle. So bending the elbow, bring it onto your thigh. Other arm comes up and over. Nice long line through your fingertips to your foot. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, windmill hands down either side of the foot. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Nearly there, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of the mat. Inhale, step or jump. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms under, sink back into your chair. And exhale, hands to heart center. Woo, nice work. Alrighty, we're going to come down to the mat by your deep squat. So if you have any hip or knee or ankle issues, or you're just not comfortable with this pose, hop down however you like. Otherwise, bring your feet to about mat width apart, turn them slightly out. Take an inhale, arms come up in front. And exhale, we're squatting down, knees going out over your toes, booties all the way back behind you, coming all the way down. And then gracefully, once you reach the bottom, back. Beautiful. Okay, from here we're going to shuffle backwards and stretch your legs out in front of you. Flexing feet so toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. I want to sit up as tall as you can. So if that means bending up your knees a little bit so you can sit up really tall, do that. From here we're going to take an inhale, arms come up. Sitting up as tall as you can and exhale, starting to fall forwards. Thinking of hinging from your hips. So rather than chest coming down towards your legs, we're thinking chest is going forwards away from you. So as you inhale, we lengthen through the spine. 
Exhale, hinging a little bit further. Inhale, length. Exhale, fold. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, we lengthen. And as you exhale, we're going to relax your whole spine down. Bend your neck. Let your chin tuck in. Just relax. Holding here for three breaths. And then on your next inhale, starting to come up. We're going to reverse the stretch, so bending your knees up. We're going to bring hands back behind you, about a hand's distance away from your sit bones. Fingers pointing back towards you. If that feels uncomfortable, try fingers pointing out with the, to the sides, or maybe fingers pointing away from you, whatever works. From here, take an inhale, we lift up out of the chest. Exhale, tummy is drawing in. Inhale, press down through all 10 toes, squeeze your glutes and start to press hips up towards the ceiling. If your hips come in line with the rest of your body, you can let your head gently rock back. Otherwise, just keep chin in towards your chest. Try not to hover in between or your neck will get really sore. I'm holding for three breaths here. Inhale, exhale, bring chin in towards your chest, and then slowly lowering back down. Beautiful sit forwards, give your wrists a little bit of a roll from side to side, one way and the other way. And then shuffling forward so you've got lots of room behind you. Take an inhale, sitting up nice and tall, and exhale, we're going to start to slowly imprint your spine down on the mat. Coming to your Shavasana. Let the feet splay outwards, let your arms rest by your sides with palms facing up and head to relax directly in the centre of your shoulders with eyes closed. Taking this time to let all the hard work you've done sink into your body. Taking this time just to be with yourself. And to bring your awareness back to this space. You're welcome to pause the video and take as long as you like here. Otherwise we'll start to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. 
bring a little bit of room off the fingertips, toes, wrists and ankles. You might like to take arms overhead for a full body stretch. Maybe hug your knees in towards your chest and take a gentle rock from side to side. And whenever you're ready, rolling over onto your right side and just taking a moment here. Keeping eyes closed if you can or just slightly open. And in your own time. Starting to make your way up to sitting, keeping eyes closed or just slightly open if you can. And bring the hands to heart center. Take a moment to thank yourself for all your hard work and for showing up for your practice today. I wish for you kind thoughts, kind words, and a kind heart. Namaste. Thank you everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. As always, any questions, comments or criticism is always welcome. Feel free to message me about anything. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.